Hey everybody, it's Alyssa from KBL Texas Homestead and I'm excited today because uh, we have some pretty cool things to show y'all. Uh, my husband and I ordered some seeds from the Burpee Company through the mail and uh, we got quite a variety. So um, we have some heirloom seeds that range from arugula, cauliflower, eggplant, and sweet corn to some non-heirloom and uh, hybrid seeds. If I open this up, one second from tomatillos to swiss chards to sugar snap peas um i'm really excited to get this going um it'll be like our first official vegetable garden and we're working on getting all that set up and going and where we can plant these babies outside and actually get to harvest uh, quite a selection and maybe end up at a farmer's market somewhere and offer some uh uh, some residents, uh, some different vegetables from their local farmers. Okay, so in this room, as you can see, I get a lot of sun through here. Um, and so I think that the seeds will do really good. I'm going to, I have a fold-up table set up where I'm going to have my seeds on. I don't know, let me see if you guys can see. Oh, no, it's too bright. Again, great sun. Um, but anyway, I'll flip this around here in a second so you guys can see. It's not the most aesthetic, but... At this point, I don't really care. What's more important to me is starting these seeds and making sure that they're good and healthy before I put them outside and at least I get a little bit of a good head start. Okay, so with that being said, um, we ordered the seeds from Burpee, the Burpee company, and we got quite a bit. And um, But I'm not just only going to order from Burpee. I had also ordered um, a catalog, a seed catalog from the Seed Savers Exchange. And so they have really good variety of heirloom seeds um, that I want to give a try. Also, the people that used to live in our house, um, they had um, a vegetable garden and a flower garden um, as well. And one of their seed catalogs that I guess the people that they used to order from came in and they are parking seed. So um, well, I'm going to look through there and see what I can order from there as well and just kind of give different companies a chance and uh, different seeds a chance and uh, kind of just see what comes out of it. Um, to get started with these seeds, I'm actually going to use some old egg cartons and get them started in there. Um, I also have some just cup holders from when we get fast food and see about starting some seeds in there. I really like reusing this stuff. It's compostable and I'm not just throwing it out. I'm, I'm reusing it and I really love that idea. Um, also, I have this. this is an old strawberry container from the grocery store that I'm going to put some soil in. It's already got the, the holes in there to drain out water. So that's pretty good. I had also gotten this from Family No, Family Dollar? Dollar General. Dollar General. Um, at the end or probably like early fall. Um, and it's a Jiffy planter, a seed planter. And it has like 72 cells. I got that for $5. So um, I could go out and buy a whole bunch more, but as we're going into spring, all this stuff is gonna be probably a little more than what I'm willing to spend when I have all these other resources available to me that I can reuse. I'm planning to uh, put the cartons, like the drink cartons, into plastic containers like this so that when I do water um, it'll hold on to the water and reabsorb it a little bit better. I am going to start them inside um, and until I know our last frost has passed and they can be safe outside because I don't want to lose them. Um, and I also not only do I have the clear plastic lid but I also have some foiled trays that we just had here. I We always have a whole bunch because we like to barbecue. And I'm also gonna um, try putting these in the egg cartons. I may need to trim them up a bit, but also put those in there to hold on to that water as well so that they don't dry out. Hey everybody, it's Alyssa from KBL Texas Homestead. And today I'm really excited because I'm gonna start planting my seeds that we bought or ordered from Burpee. Um, uh, I was really excited to get this going, but I've kind of been dragging my feet because I was feeling a little overwhelmed with all the seeds that we were super excited to order, but everything's a little different and has different planting dates and some need to be indoors and some need to be outdoors. And ah, so <laughs> what helped me get through this is I ended up going to the Farmer's Almanac website and going off of their dates um and they have two different dates on their planting calendar one is by frost date and one is by moon date 
and um, I just kind of went down the list according to the seeds that we had and just kind of wrote down on a notebook what needed to be started indoors and what I could start outdoors that would get the best results for you know the work that we're going to be putting into this um, and so that really just helped me to get organized and see it on paper and separate what needs to be planted later, like next month or the following month, and what can be planted, sorry, my rooster <laughs> chicken are just running across the yard, um, but what can be planted now and get going indoors in my cells and what can, needs to be going outside and then what can wait. And so that way I just kind of have like this organization system that works best for me. And so far, I feel a lot better about this whole situation. It is my first time to be officially doing this. Um, and so I already feel better about just kind of separating them into different categories. And um, it definitely gives me clarity and peace of mind to be like, ah, okay, I can breathe now. So uh, hang tight and we'll get going. Okay, so obviously I'm gonna have to trim this one up to fit in my trays, but I think it'll get the job done so that I don't have to worry about these guys drying out and then my seeds not doing so good. And then this is just the old fold-up table um, that I just kind of had laying around. I'm gonna set everything up on here. Again, great sun comes through these doors, so I don't think we'll have a problem as far as sunlight. Um, but here are the heirloom heirloom seeds that we ordered y'all it's gonna be good and then here are my hybrids so pretty good there's my little i said strawberry earlier but that is an old grape container and of course it's got the holes on the bottom for good drainage so that'll be going in a tray as well and then there's my jiffy cell starter that i got for five bucks can't beat that and then old uh, cup containers from probably Whataburger. <laughs> okay, everybody, so I got my seed pod kits um, that I'm gonna be using for my seeds, for my seed cells. And uh, basically, we just salvage these from egg cartons, and I like to repurpose and reuse stuff if I can save money and not have to buy the pre-made kits and just use these, um, which can also be compostable, or later I can cut them out individually and plant them with this that's fine too i ended up cutting off one section of this so that it would fit into my foil pan that i had showed y'all and that way in case i overwater or anything like that it will just soak into the pan and then be reabsorbed by these if needed i have my dirt here ready to go this is dirt that we made it has compost cow manure perlite topsoil all right, let's get started. Okay, let's put this over there. Uh, some how are we, how much are we putting in there? Like that much? Mm -hmm. I'm just filling these up like halfway, or a little more than halfway to the tops of them, to the tops of the edges. to be perfect. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it's really low.
Okay, last one is all almost all done. What I'm gonna be planting indoors is going to be lettuce, kale, arugula, tomatillos, celery, Swiss chard, lettuce, loose leaf blend, tomato, cauliflower, sweet pepper, and eggplant will be started in here along with uh, bell pepper, broccoli, cabbage. Did I put celery in here? Did I have celery? Yes, I did say celery. So, um, I have to go through. I have other seeds in another area that I need to go and get and make sure I get all those going as well. But to start, we're gonna go with these guys. And then outside, I'm gonna be planting. And, and these, I'm actually gonna put them in a big pot and they're to start outside, not indoors. So that'll be a sugar, nap, sugar snap peas and two packages of carrots. So, and we're gonna start with, each one of these cells holds 24 seeds. So we were kind of up in the air whether or not we should do 15 or 20, start with 15 or 20, but um, I think we're just gonna do 24 because that's what this cell or block holds. Cell so block. Um, this pod. <laughs> holds and it just makes it more convenient to just say this is lettuce and this is broccoli and so on and so forth so we'll just do that okay really quick um to moisten our soil it was already moistened a little bit but i feel like it could use a little more i'm just using a spray bottle because again it's small these little pods are small and so they're not going to require a lot to be moistened so i'm just going to spray Just spraying with water to moisten. I'm going to do the same. I'm gonna add a little more to mine. I don't want my soil to be drenched, but I just want a little moisten. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh yeah, that's good. All right, we're gonna get to planting. Oh, you know, I usually get a pencil and make holes. Um. You can use your finger, you want a pencil? Yeah. Give me one too. And then we'll just rinse the ends. I'm just gonna make little holes in each pod so that my seeds will just drop in there. And we'll just do two seeds in each hole, okay, Lauren? This thing's not opening. You want me to do it? No, no, no. I just like did this, which is really annoying. And my, yeah, you do it. My nails didn't even find it, like scratched it. And, ugh. Ew, that's like one of my pet peeves. That's why I don't like this, like, type of. Okay. Ooh, these look like bananas. Oh, it's sweet banana. Oh, I should probably make the holes. Pull them in the tree. gonna cover these up with some light soil. What do yours look like? Oh mine were like little stickers honestly. The Swiss chard seeds looked like little stickers that stick to your socks and clothes. Really? Yeah. These are like little banana they look like bell pepper seeds honestly. I don't know what those look like so I <laughs> they do. I have some little note cards that I'm gonna be writing 
and putting the note card in each pan so that I know what everything is, so. Thank you guys so much for watching my daughter and I get our seeds started for our spring garden. I hope that we showed you guys how simple it can be, how much fun it is, and how easy it is to get your garden started using things that are just around your house. You don't have to spend a lot of money besides just on the seeds, which aren't expensive, and that anybody can get their garden started and start growing their own food. Um, if you would like to see us as we progress through this project, get these babies harvested and end up in our farmer's market that we wanna get into, please like and subscribe uh, so that you can stay up to date on everything that's happening around KBL Texas Homestead.